Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We got Smash with us today. He's full of beans on the long lead. And we're going out cockling and to explore the beach. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Go, bud, go. Go, bud, go. Got the 30 meter lead with me today. So he can run around and just be a puppy. He's never been to a big beach like this before. There's Smash all set up on the long lead. It's got a 30 meter radius to run around. Hey bud, you having fun, eh? This is fun. And I'm gonna start raking around, trying to find some cockles or any other clam species we can find. All we're doing today, guys, we've got the big rake with us. I'm just gonna be raking the sand, looking for some delicious cockles. My smash is trying to kill the birds. <laughs> oh, first one of the day. Lovely sized cockle there. Goes in the bucket. And we're on a mission, baby. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Come here, come here, what's this? Look, trying to find some cockles, bud. That's what we're trying to find, bud. You can find some cockles. Oh. These are definitely the cockles we want. These are beauties, look at that smash. That's a beauty of a cockle, my friend. Some giant ones like this make delicious meals. You don't really want any shorter than an inch. Something we find a lot in the sand around here. Loads of crabs. This one looks like it's gonna peel soon, but not big enough for what I want. He's lucky Smash isn't around because he'll have a nice old time of that, that's for sure. Oh, biggest cockle of the day. Easy, Smash, come here. Look at this, big cockle. Best, biggest cockle of the day, bro. Look at that. Oh, big cockles, baby. <laughs> Got loads of cockles, bro. Let's go. Let's get some more. Dig, dig, dig. Get the cockles. Arr! Look, cockle. Dig. Dig, get him, get him, smash, get him, smash. Get the cockles. That's it, find the cockles for me, bro. Let's go. Oh, look, big cockle. Look at that one. Yeah. What a beauty. That's the ones we want, bro. Go. Good boy. Find me some cockles, eh, mate? Got a few cockles here that we've raked up. So what I'm going to do, he's full of beans, so we're going to go for a little explore around the beach just so he can tire himself out and when we come back we'll rake up a few more Another great way to find cockles, just laying on the floor This beach lately has had loads of them just laying around That's what I want Hey Smashy Boy Hey, we want the ones laying around, you got to find these for me bud I see another cockle Smash, come here Look, we got another one Look, there's another one. That's what we need. Look, look, what's this? You want to get it? Get it for me, bud. Get it for me, bud. Get it, Smash. Get it, Smash. <laughs> My little cockle forager. Yeah. Good boy. Well done. This is a good boy, Smash. You having fun today, bud? Yeah. Go. Go. <laughs> what's this? Look, we found another one. You want to dig it up for me? He's a nice boy, get it, get it, good, little boy, smell it, good boy, you want a treat? This is a perfect example of how cockles lay in the sand, you see the valve is up, do you want to find it? Smash, smash, dig, dig it, get it bud, who's a good boy, 
Who's a good boy? Well done, bud. Yeah, you got the cockle for me. You want a treat? Who's a good boy? Yeah. I see myself a cockle. <laughs> Is that another one? Oh, that's a beauty. Look at the size of that. Smash is going absolutely mental for the birds. A lot of people ask why I don't let my spaniel off the lead. That's exactly why. There's a, there's a main road straight at the top of those hedgerow up there. And uh, he can go running up there very easily. So Smash ain't ready for off the lead yet. But when he is, then we will, uh, we will let him off. But at the moment, you can see he's obsessed with it. <laughs> yeah, lovely big one straight away. What we want. Love trips like this. Nice relaxing forage. Morning, bud. Nice relaxing forage with Smash. He's happy. It's a nice warm day. And we get a nice little meal out of it. Why not? Ooh, another one. Ooh, another one there. Getting quite a few here. What we want? Big juicy one. That's a mama. Found a nice little patch here with a few cockles in. It's always the way. You go around the beach and you'll find one little spot that would just have loads in. Find some cockles. Good boy. Yeah, find them cockles, bud. Get those cockles, bud. <laughs> he loves it. No cockles? All right, try, try a different spot then, bud. <laughs> nice one. This is great to do with kids as well, guys. Really easy to do. You don't have to go far on the beach to find them, as long as you know where they are. And it makes for a really enjoyable, relaxing day out on the beach, that's for sure. Is there any big ones down there? Can't see any big ones yet. Keep trying. <laughs> he absolutely loves it. Now he's had a run around, he's a bit more tired. So he likes to stick around and just copy whatever I'm doing. Oh, look at that. Biggest cockle of the day. That's a monster. Look, that's a big cockle. Find it, Smash. Find it. Leave it. Smash. Drop it. Drop. <laughs> you give me my cockle back. That's my cockle. Give me my cockle back. It's mine. That's mine. That's my big cockle. Yeah. Ooh, that's my cockle. Smash, look. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Oh, oh, go, 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 go. Like a good cock. Leave it. Ah, got it. That was a good job. You missed that one. <laughs> what you're looking for when you're doing this, guys, is uh, just a little knock on the top of the rake. There's always an identifier that there's cockles around, just like that. Smash is trying to find his own as well. He's digging so far, he's trying to find some gaper clowns. <laughs> Hey, find the cockles, bud. Find them. Smash. Good boy. Good boy. Hold on. Nothing but really big ones in this small little patch. I went about 100 yards to the left and it was all really small ones, like under an inch. It's funny how you can get different sizes in different little areas. 
That is definitely biggest one of the day. That's a corker, that one. I think it's a lot bigger than that, really, the cockles. Nice to see, though. Just found myself a big old clam there. Look at that one. That is an absolute beast of a clam. I think we've got another cockles now. We've got a fair old haul in there. And it's only really me eating them, so that's a good amount. So me and Smash are going to head down to the low water's edge now. Have a good old run around and then we're back home for a cook baby nice size cockle there on our travels if i see any on the walk around i'm definitely going to be picking them up they're nice and clean those ones check the size of that for a cockle that is a monster we've got a few of these today some absolute giants that is definitely going in the bucket i've just found a nice docinia clam Look at that. Beauty. We don't usually find a lot of these on this beach. It's great to see. Make sure it's not dead. Yeah, she's still good. In the bucket she goes. We've got ourselves a clown, smashy boy. One fresh cockle. And two fresh cockles. <laughs> I swear my dog thinks he's a seal. He's swimming out to the birds to try and get them. <laughs> Smash, this way. Come on, bud. <laughs> Good job I got the long lead because he will not come back. Come on, bud. This way. Let's go. <laughs> Absolutely loves it. Great exercise for a spaniel. Swimming down the beach. Found a decent sized gaper clam hole here. So I'm just going to dig down, guys. I've taken one fork full. And all you got to do is just keep digging down with your two fingers going down the side of the clam and eventually you can get a good hold on it and get it out these are amazing bait for gilt heads and bass and stuff like that and look at the size of that that's a beauty look at that one smash that's a proper clam that one buddy nice just got a nice size razor clam here finding a quite a few different variety of clams today lovely to see good old razor just got myself a really big razor clam here. You got smash. Smash has got a clam. Come on, this is a beauty. What I don't want to do is pull the foot off it, so I'm just wiggling it out. And keep wiggling it. Come on, you beauty. This is a beauty of a razor. Oh, look at that. That is a mother of a razor clam right there. Look at that beast. That's the big ones. This is a different species to the little ones we get. Happy days. What a beauty. That's going straight in the bucket. Come on, you beauty. Stocking off on some bait. Why not? While the big tides are here, you've got to take advantage of it. Look at that. Look at that smash. Big boy clams. That's what they are. Bow, bow, bow. Another clam bites the dust. Quite a good haul in the end. Love razor clams that big. That's a whole bait in itself, that is. Everything's nicely alive. All of these are gonna go in the freezer for gilt head bait, and the rest we're gonna eat. Beautiful. Check this clam out, guys. This is called a dog cockle. And they've got quite a big appendage that comes out. Sounds a bit funny. And that's how they dig their way back into the sand. They're not very good for eating, so I won't be taking that today. Stay there for another one. We are back in the kitchen guys, we've got our cockles here and a couple of clams. I've just finished cooking some clams, so what I'm going to do is keep the broth from it. I'm going to add a few ingredients, we're going to have a nice old cockle boil up. Happy days, nice simple cook. We can have some delicious seafood. It's going to be a really simple cook today. Just got some black pepper, straight in the water. This has been seasoned with salt already. We got some garlic powder, get that in there, nice bit of flavour. And all I'm going to put in last is some chilli powder, so we'll have some nice spicy clams. And that's pretty much it, I'm going to bring that to the boil again. We get our clams in and start munching. Simple cook, nice and easy, and I've got to get to the hospital in 10 minutes. <laughs>
water's just getting up to a boil now guys so I'm going to start introducing all of our clams look at the size of some of them beautiful size and all of these they've been washed in fresh water if there was any dead ones I took them out if you see any that are open before you cook them throw them out and any that don't open when you cook them throw them out as well but look at those bad boys so I'll just get the rest of these in there guys I've always enjoyed cockles this way just a quick boil up with a few ingredients they're absolutely delicious and it's a nice easy meal to cook up it only takes like three minutes to cook these five at most easy meal You can tell these cockles have been purging for two days. They are so clear and vibrant. <laughs> but if you're gonna leave them for as long as I did, I would recommend putting an aerator in the bucket just to keep the oxygen going in the water and they, you can keep them alive for a very long time like that. Check those out guys, lovely big juicy cockles, look at those, no grit in these whatsoever, two days purging, big old chewy clam there, very nice. I've been really looking forward to eating these cockles, I was going to finish the videos yesterday but my uh, my son was born so I've been up the hospital all night, um, yeah so yeah, I'm a bit tired at the moment but hey the videos will continue baby, nice old cockles, yum. Mmm. When they've been purged like that, they are so much better. Well, I enjoy just getting seafood and cooking it straight away, but when it comes to clams and stuff like that, you can't beat purging them. Definitely not. Got a nice hint of that um, chilli in there and the garlic. Mmm. That's the size of that. Some of the cockles we got was ridiculous. And they were huge. Well, there's this clam. I've forgotten what these are called. If you know, guys, leave it in the comments. I'd be interested to know. I, I believe it's a manila clam, but uh, I could be wrong. Hmm. That's not bad. Hmm. They're actually quite nice, though. When they're cooked that way, because uh, I fried clams in the last video, but um, they went a bit chewy. When you cook them this way, see, they're nice and tender, juicy, really full of flavour. I definitely prefer this way. Nice Dossinia clam there. Nice white one. Oh yeah. These are my favourite clams, hands down. These are amazing. Tastes a bit like an oyster. Very similar. Mm. What's that kind of? Oh, try that one. A bit of sand in that one. That's this sort of clam. I'm not gonna eat that, it's full of grit. But the cockles, you can eat them all day long. You'll never get any grit if they're purged out properly. Mm. So, what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna finish off this quick because um, I, I, I'm in a bit of a rush. So, I apologize for the quick cook ups, but um, I gotta do my best at the moment. Until my boy's home, then um, then I can start getting out a bit more, doing a bit more foraging and fishing then, and the boat will obviously go in the water. So we've got lots to enjoy on the way. So stay tuned, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the uh, support. It's my fishing, baby. Woo!
Yum.